top yeah the top 30 nba players of 2022 to 2023 list let's see what this person is talking about man i'm gonna mute this beat stars real quick excuse me aside oh that's a whole other video all right the top 30 nba players of 2022 2023 season let's get into this video man something interesting that see what I just he's talking about the start of the 2023 NBA season is going to be the first time in a long time that everyone is going to be healthy. I mean, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, Clay Thompson, Zion Williamson, it's true. Ben Simmons. Every true. star player. That's true. It's going to be real exciting to see everybody being healthy. LeBron's on the uh, last part of his career, so it'll be interesting to see how he takes all that and who they apply with him Patrick Beverly yada yada we'll see that I can but yeah possibly think of should be back on the hardwood floor and uh as a fan I love it today I want to go over who I believe are the top 30 players in the league Luke. and as for my criteria on how I created this list I went over a bunch of factors such as how well they performed in 2022 how old they'll be in 2023 how they fit into this new three-point shooting era of basketball and their own personal situation which of course is different from player to player the mm. one thing i did not factor in was health because i didn't think it was fair to rank a player based on freak accidents so with that being said i like let's that get started i like that i'm gonna we'll do talk a countdown style we'll 80 for Aiden. player number 30 mm. then make my way down to the best player in the league and then after that that's low key kind of nice because honestly there are so that's kind of nice because today, even if they don't pan out Aiton's better in the long run than Anthony so Davis ado, too so that's kind of tight 30 we have bam at a bio 30 we got bam all right he was the second best player for Miami and he helped clinch them the first seed in the east and although he sort of disappeared in the eastern conference finals in 2022 he's still only 24 and is still improving his craft that's the thing with bam He's only 24 years old still, so that is huge. And to be 30 currently, I think he's really good, so it's going to be interesting to see the other 29. Miami has a great player development program, and I expect Bam Bam to be better once the 20 bam, bam. starts. Next off at number 29, we have DeAndre Ayton. DeAndre Ayton. Seven-foot rim runner who's starting to develop a shooting stroke. I Top mean, 30, and he's like... Two. He two years younger than him while shooting 37 percent from three-point range if uh he improves upon that this offseason so i'm saying he might even start to get some mvp votes and he's number nice we have chris paul the point god damn he'll be turning 38 years old in 2023 but man in the 2022 playoffs cp3 averaged 17 points and eight assists while shooting 56 percent from the field 39% from three-point range, and 95% at the free throw line. If his defense wasn't exploited by both the Pelicans and the Mavericks, he's got he'd good be defense. a lot higher on this list. At number 27... Small, but he's got good defense. Like I said... Uh, come on! Do you not get ads with the, like YouTube Red or something? Because that might be an investment all the streamers make. I might need to make that. Quote, yes. unquote, healthy. And the fact of the matter is, when Ben Simmons is healthy, both physically and mentally... Is he He's a beast. I mean, he's a six foot ten point guard. That can so that's what he meant by like I'm not gonna take health into consideration because nah, hell no. Nah, actually, like he doesn't even deserve the ranking. Like until he can at least sh shoot a free throw decently, guard every position on defense, then he can get in top thirty. Offense, but no. he can do everything you need except shoot the ball. He ran from the arena when they needed him in the playoffs. Uh, nah, nah. When 2023 arrives, I have a feeling that Simmons is going to erupt. For number 26, we got Andrew Wiggins. 27. The Above Chris Paul. The pick was an all-star last season, and in the playoffs, he was even better. In the finals, he was the best player on the court whose name isn't Steph Curry. And because he'll be an unrestricted free agent soon, Damn. he'll be wanting to play his best basketball ever in order to secure a sizable contract. Damn. For number 25, we got Michael Porter Jr. Damn. In his last healthy season, this dude averaged 19 points and 7 rebounds while shooting 54% from the field, 45% from three-point range, and 79% at the free throw. Michael Porter Jr. is a hooper. So this top 30 right here, that's crazy, though. Above Chris Paul still. I mean, his skill is there. 
I just want to see him play more. Enough said. For number 24, it's like a little KD. Right behind D book, dude. NBA first team in 2022, but when push comes to shove, especially in the playoffs, he seems to shrink. I mean, he lost a 2 0. <laughs> For real, Bam should be above some of these people. In 2022. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For number 23, we got Rudy Gobert. I'm, I'm interested to see this top 20 now. In the league, and he's in the middle of his prime. I honestly believe he's the best player Utah had, and I look forward to seeing how he meshes in Minnesota. For number 22, we got Carl Anthony Towns. He's Carl! The point shooting big man in the league currently. Carl! Would be a lot higher on this list if he played with more intensity and passion. For number 21, we got Clay Thompson. Clay? This is going to be the first summer in the last three years where Clay is going to be completely healthy. Clay? With he still got that two way on lock, man. He just got to get. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say because, I mean, they just won, right? I mean, so obviously he's doing something right, even though Steph really carried. But Clay is still a dog. Mr. 37. 37 points in one quarter. Come on now. With his competitive drive, I expect him to get his defense back close to where it used to be. Uh, also, he's going to have a full training camp. Yeah, yeah. It's a little ad. ...to develop chemistry with the squad. So, if you thought he was good last year... Wait until you see what he can do in 2023. I always want to call him Jackie Moon. Number 20, we got his Paul little George. fro and headband. PG-13 should be motivated to play his best basketball this upcoming season. I mean, the Clippers, with a healthy Kawhi, are in the conversation for winning the championship. And John Still, Wall. Though, whenever I hear Paul George's name these days, I can't help but laugh and think of this. I care what anybody says. That's a bad shot. That was a hate. <laughs> Yo, when Paul George said that, it was like, bro, you're just hating. Because that was on OKC. OKC's my squad. I was like, come on, just shut up. Just take it. Pause. Al Morant. This dude was caught saying on camera that he would have cooked Michael Jordan in his era. So what that tells me is. Jaws top 20. Crazy. The man has completely lost it. <laughs> his confidence is through the roof. They have him higher on their top 30 list. But the truth of the matter is, the Memphis Grizzlies were 36 and 21 with Morant in the lineup, and 20 and 5 when he wasn't. I didn't know that. Number 18, we got Trey Young. Damn. Ice Trey has the best floater in the game. Ice Trey the game. To shoot it from Curry Land. In the playoffs, however, a Miami Heat team just ex him and him and uh him and Curry, yeah, they just went off. Or he just mentioned Curry, but no, nah, him and Curry just went off. And that little league, I don't, I don't know which one it was. All these players are playing all those random leagues, but them two on a team, Trey and Curry on a team, Exposed get out of here. Young, and I expect him to learn from that failure and be better for 2023. For number 17, we got Kyrie Irving. Damn. Uncle Drew still has the best handles in the league. They got those three back to back. On any given year. He would be a bit higher on this list if he was more about team winning versus individual achievement. See, okay, I can kind of understand that, but Zion he deserves Williamson. a little higher than that. Kyrie, Kyrie behind Zion. I mean, ah, come on, bro. We've never seen nothing like Zion, but we've never seen a, something like uh, Kyrie. I mean, come on. Saw this man healthy. He was 20 years old, averaging 27 points, seven rebounds on 61 percent shooting. <laughs> I'm excited. To, I'm excited to see what Zion uh, does this next season too. He just got paid. He's want, He wants to like. He's got a chip on his shoulder, so he really wants to prove some people wrong. All these doubters, the Zion haters, man, where they at? Point them out. And making grown men look like babies. There's a reason why he was so hyped up in the 2019 draft. And we're all about to be reminded of why. For number 15, we got Damian Lillard. <laughs> they got Last Damian season, above. Dame Time was injured and had an off year. So although some people would say he doesn't deserve to be this high on the top 30 list, the truth is... What is our play? Dang! And it Come on, commercial! Exactly what you want it to record, whether it be kills, Damn. The matter is, he'd literally be... Damn, I'm so curious who these top five are. Steph Curry didn't exist. It's a lot of good players right now. Anthony Edwards. Damn. For people Yo, Anthony Edwards is a dog. And yes, this movie is hella good. And yes, he surprised me with his acting. Even though a lot of people are like, oh, he wasn't acting because, you know, he was just being a, a dog on the court. But, and, and his shit talking and everything. But, man, Anthony Edwards, man.
people who've seen the movie He's a skillful guy, man. Words wasn't even <laughs> acting when he was trash talking Bo Cruz. <laughs> anyway, this kid has it all. The athleticism, the shooting ability, the competitive drive, the it factor or whatever you want to call it. He really He's does. A superstar on the rise and in 2023, we're going to see him light up the league. That that's that thing that like LaMelo Ball has too, like that you just can't teach like that confidence that like, you know, like shooters keep shooting like doesn't matter if you miss 10, keep going. That's what this kid has. That's what a lot of these young new kids got, man. It's crazy. For number three. Which, by the way, I wonder where LaMelo Ball is ranked. If they have him top 10 in the league. Damn! 13, we got Jalen Brown. He was the second best player for the Celtics that was just two wins Damn. away from being crowned. Damn, champion. hey, who you guys got, man? Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum? Who's better? I'm always having this debate with people. I, I got to know. What do you guys think? He can shoot. He can attack the basket. And he can post up. He can literally do it all except drive going left. According to Draymond on his podcast, <laughs> a... Brown's inability to effectively drive left was a huge reason why the Celtics lost. Sheesh, guys. Defensive so, stud for all right there. kids out there, remember to practice both hands. <laughs> Anyway, for number 12, we got Anthony Davis. Damn. To be perfectly honest, guys, I feel like I haven't seen Anthony Davis in like two years. So for I real. actually almost admitted him off this list because I think he shouldn't belong on this list at all right now. He's got a lot of making up to do, man. Where you at, Unibrow? <laughs> but anyway, when healthy and motivated, Anthony Davis is a force of nature. And if yeah. the Lakers could stay completely healthy next year, things could get interesting. For number 11, we got James Harden. They still got James up. It started off the season as part of a dysfunction. Damn, you got Tatum over Brown? Mmm. 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 So hard for me to pick, man. This list obviously has Tatum over Brown, too, but... Dude, Jalen Brown's a little more clutch than Tatum, but it's even still hard to say that because Tatum was, like, answering his rookie year against LeBron, so... I think, I, was, I think I'm still picking Tatum, but dude, Jalen Brown is right there. Bro. National Nets team, so he's right as a there. Result, he didn't have the greatest year last season. Like it hurts picking Tatum. However, he took a pay cut in order for the 76ers to acquire a few better pieces. James Harden, I don't know, man. And he's gonna be motivated. I expect Harden to be called the Beard again in 2023. We'll see. And finally, just like that, we're now in the top ten. Top ten, top ten. Oh, goodness, top ten. Who's the top 10? Guys, y'all see how talented the NBA is these days. Curry, LeBron, I mean, and KD are going to be like top three, AD right? Both out of the top 10. I mean, Michelle Gorlo is holding our I mean, school board shit. accountable and demanding transparency. We got Curry. It's going to be LeBron, Giannis, KD, Curry, I think, is how they're going to do this list. I don't know. Who do you think is going to be the top five? <laughs> Ten's going to be interesting, too. Is, Let's see. people would probably agree with that, too. Anyway, for number 10 here, we have... Jason Tatum, Tatum top 10 Williams player. Conference Finals MVP award and being selected to the All-NBA First Team. He's a three-level scorer. He's only 24, and he's one of the best players. Three-level scorer. What am I making for 2K, y'all? About to hold a poll right after this, probably. He's one of the best players in the league, as one of the superstars in this league, as the leader of the Boston Celtics. He can't be saying things like this. Did I ever say that I'm a superstar? Or, you know, I'm on the verge? Like, I, that never came for me. For number nine, we got Kawhi Leonard. See? That's that confidence thing I was talking about. Like, Jason Tatum, he's like, he is confident, right? But not conf, like that Anthony Edwards confidence, that LaMelo Ball confidence. Like, if he had that, then he'd be light years over Brown. <laughs> I love Kawhi's laugh, bro. Dang, guys. Fun guy, fun guy. Over that laugh. Anyways. Kawhi hasn't been seen in action for the past year, but the last time we saw him in the playoffs before he got hurt, he was averaging about 30 points and eight rebounds while nearly shooting 50, 40, and 90. The 2023 season is a championship or bust year for the Clippers. 
And I expect Kawhi to be playing as motivated as we Hey, do. Reggie Jackson. You remember when we saw Reggie Jackson, Seabass, when he was in our way? Get out the way, Reggie. For number eight on the list, we got Jimmy Butler. A Jimmy. Lot of people might be Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy Butler being so high up on the list. But let's look I at some facts here. I think it's pretty deserved. Although he's not flashy and doesn't put up big regular season numbers, this man is a winner. He, he is. The best player on the number one seed in the East and Dude. the postseason. He, he gets it done. Tries to. I Works mean, really hard. He single-handedly <laughs> almost led Miami to a championship back in the 2020 bubble. And this past season, he was a three-point shot away from bringing Miami LeBron took back that away to the finals from him. again. Jimmy Butler deserves to be on every top ten list. And I have him here at number eight. Jimmy's a hard seven, worker. We got the two-time reigning MVP, Nikola Jokic. Jokic at now, seven. Is a beast on offense. Jokic at seven, yo. Jokic is a stud. And Bede number one. I mean, the numbers oh, he's putting up. Bede's got to be top five now, right? A one man wrecking machine. Sheesh. Still, though, he gets exposed in the playoffs. I mean, in 2021, the Suns swept the Nuggets. Damn, who's going to be six? The Warriors gentlemen swept them. We got Embiid, the Curry, Nuggets LeBron, KD. In order for Jokic to move up the ranks of the elite. Giannis. For number six, we got Luka Doncic. And that's the five. The five I just said. Shape following his loss to the Warriors and Yo, time's out, though. Luka is so good. He's so young, and he's already top five. Scary or number six. But he's also, top five in my books. Actually, those five. Damn, like. I don't know. So you can bet he's learned some valuable lessons. Dude, Luka is so good. Next season. He'll be even Who's number one, Seabass and Peter? Him to win the are you are you saying LeBron's number one, Seabass? At number five, oh, I have well, obviously he just said Embiid one. Did oh, they have at age LeBron at five. LeBron at five. LeBron James averaged more points than he's ever averaged in a season since 2008. Sheesh, guys. And also, <laughs> he's averaged more minutes than he's been averaging in the last five seasons. Yo, he's so I good. He's turning 38 next season, but he's still a one-man wrecking machine and one of the best players in the league. And um, Thunder is about to draft. What's his name next year? Number one, Victor. I think the number one dude next year is going to be the, the Victor Cat or something like that. And then uh, we're going to get Bronny. We're going to get Bryce, yo. I mean, we got more picks than anyone. We got the... The leeway to do it. Chet's injured. We're about to tank. Hopefully, we don't lose Shea because of it, but we're about to get Team LeBron. So, I don't care, man. Make up your I mind, Shea. I got Joel Embiid. He probably should have won the 2022 Joel Embiid. Embiid. Yeah, win by a victor. Yeah. Oh, well. What's done is done. Joel Embiid, number An four. Question to ask is, so, we got, didn't have so, we got Curry, Giannis, and... uh. KD. That broken orbital bone, and if he Curry, did, Giannis, he KD. Games in that series against Miami, would the 76ers have advanced to the conference finals? So both of you guys are wrong. So who's number one? Curry, Giannis, or KD? Curry, Giannis, or KD? Oh, you you said Giannis number one. Oh, you fixed it. All right, Giannis number one. All right. Or even the finals. This is this will this will mean a lot too because me and uh, Seabass are always arguing so. Let's see anyway, what this list says. I got him at number four currently in the league. And uh, at number three, I got Kevin. Oh, Curry. it's not KD. Some people may have KD at number one. Oh. Ask yourself, would the number one player in the league allow... Oh, yeah, guys. You can do the stream stickers. Oh, you can post a sticker on the stream. I don't know how you can access it through the chat alone, but in my little panel section, you should be able to click on one of those things. It costs, like, a certain amount of bits or whatever. But, yeah, I don't... See, let me find you hovering over the live view and looking for the heart icon. Yeah, see if you can see that. See, I don't see the heart icon. I just see the Prime Gaming, which, by the way, if you don't, if you haven't used your Prime sub, use it for the boy right now, you know, because you love the boy. Don't man TV. Anyways, let's see who's the uh, top three of this video real quick. Allow himself to get swept when he's in his prime. Anyway. They got Giannis number one. Turning 34, so, KD so we'll see. We'll see. Force he's always been and hasn't shown much signs of slowing down at all. Next off at number two, I have Giannis onto the compo. <laughs> they got Curry number one. In that second round was nothing short of amazing. And if I'm, 
I know wrong. Physically I'm going to be blown Giannis away. So but special it has to be Curry, right? The fact that he gives it 100% all the time. He's one of the rare players in the league that's capable of putting the team. <laughs> and in 2021, hold up. You don't think Curry's better than uh, Giannis? I mean, come on, bro. To a championship. And at number one, I got the reigning Finals MVP, Stephen Curry. <laughs> Unlike everyone Stephen. else in the top 10, Wardell Stephen dominate the league physically, but instead he dominates with skills. I mean, his marksmanship, his ability to run nonstop and get open, his ability to generate offense is second to none. He's shown the world that you don't got to be the tallest or strongest player on the court in order to be the best. And he did it emphatically, as we saw in game Crazy. Four. The Celtics defense was perhaps the best defense the NBA has seen in the last 10 years. And Steph Curry single-handedly <laughs> shredded it to pieces. He's the best player in the league currently, and I have him at number one. Sheesh, guys. Damn. And that's the top 30. Now, Damn. It's tough Look at to that. In this top 30 list because there's just so much talent. Damn. Do you guys, do you guys think this list is a? Uh, let me see. Let me move my camera. Let me take away my camera. Do you guys think this list is a? Uh, is legit or what? You got Curry at number one, Giannis, KD, Joel B, LeBron, Luka, Jokic. That's usually how the MVP ladder goes, too. So that's not too far off, man. Like, that's that's a solid list. At first, it was seeming kind of crazy. I mean, I'd make a couple changes throughout it a little bit. Westbrook should be higher than Ben Simmons. Yeah, I, I see that. I would, I would probably... Replace the two. Westbrook's probably missing. I was thinking Westbrook, too. I thought they were going to maybe put him a little higher, but that is crazy. Like, they have Jaw and Trey higher than Westbrook, which is a good argument, but it's kind of crazy at the same time to think about. But damn. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Top 30 NBA players, man. That is crazy. Curry, KD number 